step by step examination of a respiratory system. For this purpose, we ask the patient to lie uh, on a couch in a comfortable way and we uh, go for a panoramic view of the patient. We start, uh, we start from the head and see the texture of the hair and then we look at the eyes, look down, look up, look over the upper. Then we look at the tongue, on the tongue for any evidence of cyanosis. And then we look at the neck veins for any engorgement. And then we inspect for any pigmentation, any scar or any pulsation on the front of the chest. And then we look for a detangent to the apex beat. And then we move on to the foot end of the bed to see the respiration and asymmetry of the chest. Afterwards, we come on to palpation. We feel for any lymph nodes in the cervical area and then we look for the trachea. We use uh, either one finger method or three finger methods and we put the index finger and the <coughs> ring finger on the sternal clavicular joint and then with the middle finger we just push it down and we see whether it touches the trachea or not, whether it's central or it's not central. Then we palpate for the apex bead and then we localize it with the tip of the finger. We feel for any other pulsation in the precordium or in the epigastric area and we palpate for any tenderness in the front of the chest. Then we go for we go for a vocal framitus, egotin, and we compare on both sides in the front. And then we go for the movement of the chest. Take it number sansu. One step is above the nipple and the other is below the nipple which will tell you the expansion. Then we percuss, we percuss on the clavicle like that directly or by stretching the skin on the clavicle by your two fingers. And then with the intercostal spaces we percuss. Make sure that there is a principle of percussion which has been well elaborated in the text. In this you use a fleximeter finger which is lying on the skin or the body and the flexor finger is your middle finger which strikes. When you strike the fleximeter with the flexor then remove the flexor straight away so that there should not be any damping effect. As the auscultation of the chest is concerned we use the diaphragm of the stethoscope and place it firmly and compare the both sides to listen for the normal breath sounds and then we ask him to say one two three 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 and we compare the both sides as far as the vocal resonance is concerned if if the chest is very hairy then it is advisable either to shave the chest before you auscultate or you moisten the hair with a bit of water then you won't be able to hear added sounds. Everything has been described in detail in the text. And repeat all these uh, four steps of inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation on the lateral side of the chest by asking the patient to lift his hands like this. So that his arm should not obstruct uh, your way. Having done that, you go on the back of the chest, ask the patient to turn his side away and with the back on your side and again you repeat all these four steps and by doing this you do the palpation of the movements.
then you palpate एक दो तीन को फिर फोर द वोकल फ्रेमिटस then you percuss percussion you will auscultate lava sound you auscultate for breath sounds which are uh, normal and you auscultate for any other added sounds and you auscultate for vocal resonance ask the patient to say one two three and listen and compare both sides एक दो तीन को एक दो तीन एक दो तीन एंड ऑन द बैक यू कैन आल्सो लुक फॉर एनी स्पाइनल टेंडरनेस एंड थैंक द पेशेंट चेक फॉर द लिवर डलनेस फॉर दिस पर्पस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिफाइन द राइट बॉर्डर ऑफ द हार्ट सो वी स्टार्ट लाइक दिस and then we come down intercostal space wise and we define it like this and then we count from the sternomolecular angle or angle of louis the space and then we reach to a upper border of the liver look for the tracheal tug for this purpose we ask the patient to sit up and look forward and use your three fingers that middle index and ring finger and place them vertically on the sternal notch and touch the trachea the upper or your index finger should touch the patient's cricoid cartilage ask the patient to take a deep breath lama saso and the cricoid cartilage should be touching you if it does not touch it means that the patient's got uh, tracheal if it touches it means that the patient tracheal tug is positive check for tracheal position for so this the patient should be lying supine and put your three fingers one finger is the index finger on the right sternomenopleal joint and the ring finger on the left sternomenopleal joint and with a slide down the middle finger and it should touch a firm surface which is trachea if the trachea is deviated to either side this middle finger will slip on the opposite side this will indicate that this patient's trachea is central or not the other method is a one finger method in this you take your index finger and you just slide down through the suprasternal notch and it will hit the trachea if the trachea is displaced the finger will also displace to the opposite side percuss for lss curve LSS curve uh, is seen when th the patient has got a pleural effusion uh, on either side. It's uh, basically a uh, fluid level which is concave upwards, and it uh, is basically a radiological sign. But you can confirm it uh, clinically as well. For this purpose, you percuss from below and note any dullness in front, and then you keep on on the lateral side. then ask the patient to lift his head up hands up on his head and you carry on doing this until you reach to a level of dullness and then on the lateral side and then ask the patient to put his arms on shoulders like this and you keep on percussing on the back until you come across an upper border of dullness that will appear like this and that is the way you percuss check for a spinal tenderness for this purpose we look first the whole spine from the cervical to the sacral area and then we feel for individual spinous processes of the vertebra for any localized tenderness <coughs> other method is that you use your four fingers and you tap like that and the patient will tell you with the, does it hurt the third method is that you put 
the arm of your left hand on the patient's spine and with the ulnar bond of the right hand you just do like that and the patient will wince. The other crude method is that you make a fist and you just bang like that and the patient will tell you about